Okay, g'day folks, welcome to the latest installment of the Brothers Weekly Wrap, uh, episode 2 for 2016. On the weekend, saw the round 1 fixtures get underway for the Cairns District Rugby League, uh, where Brothers took on Ush Rivals Kangaroos at their Vico Oval home ground. Uh, pretty much second grade, they kick-started the day, or in fact they didn't kick-start the day because the poor buggers pretty much left off, uh, sorry, picked up where they left off last season uh, with another forfeit. So uh, that's two points in the bank for Jack Mapper and his boys though, but I'm sure the boys would much prefer to have gotten on the paddock on the weekend. Uh, in the under-18s clash, Kangaroos are pretty light on for troops. Uh, so were brothers, but Fortunately, we had enough to put out a decent complement of players, and they were able to secure a pretty handy 70 points to 8 victory over Kangaroos, who, as the season progresses and they start getting their players uh, roll in, um, no doubt that they'll be there come the pointy end in September. Uh, but congratulations to our under-18s. It was a fantastic effort, and uh, it was great to kick off the season with, with such a comprehensive victory. Unfortunately, uh, reserve grade, they couldn't come away with the spoils. It was a pretty close encounter. Kangaroos come away with the victory there, 29 points to 20. Uh, but plenty of positives for coach Callan Dunbar to take away from the game uh, to, to work on in, in time for this weekend. Uh, in the main game, uh, two coaches that go a long way back together, all the way back to Ignatius Park College in Townsville. Uh, ben Groves for Brothers and Benny Lady for Kangaroos uh, coming up against each other for the first time. Uh, created a bit of an interesting subplot anyway for the match. Uh, it was a game, it was a pretty weird game actually. Uh, brothers bolted out of the blocks, uh, getting up to a 16 points to nil lead after pretty much just as many minutes. Uh, but that's sort of where it stopped and full credit to Ruse, they muscled their way back into the game. Uh, they helped along with uh, some pretty ordinary decisions and pretty ordinary execution on brother's end, uh, but it become a little bit of a, a little bit of a seesawing battle for the next oh, probably 55 minutes uh, before uh, going, going into the final 10, Ruse led 32 points to 26, uh, but fortunately uh, brothers were able to uh, turn it on when it mattered in those final 8 minutes and uh, a, a disallowed try to Kangaroos basically was the emphasis for brothers to go to the other end and score after a pretty imposing run from Kane Weehy uh, before an unfortunate kick out on the full at the restart for Ruse. Uh, gave us some pretty good ball in attacking opportunity and the boys didn't need to be asked twice to capitalise on that. Uh, to sneak away with 34 points to 32 win. Uh, I'm sure Benny Graves will be really happy to get the W in the column. Uh, to break his maiden and, and get the season off to that winning start. Um, fortunately, uh, going to have to be good again this weekend as we take on a, a pretty desperate suburb side. Suburbs went down in their opening game to Mossman, who uh, are probably surprised a few with the quality of their performance on the weekend, and it'll be one of the sides to watch out for as the season rolls through. Uh, pleasingly, there's a few. Good performances from Brothers players. I thought uh, Corey Child was outstanding in the middle. Uh, big CC, able to ball play a little bit and, and burst on onto the pill with a, a little bit of venom at times too, which which created a line break for a try. Uh, it was great to see from the man child. Thought uh, Benny Shell and, and Luke Badge in the middle, they were also pretty outstanding. Uh, Benny laid on a, a couple of nice offloads, which was great to see. Um, and finally, I thought yeah, the Bowie at the back. I know we sort of mentioned last week that it would be a bit of his brilliance to, to win the game. Uh, although he didn't lead into scoring the points to win the game, it was a couple of his actions in, in saving tries uh, that were, were outstanding. Uh, so, yeah, the Amber might think was pretty fantastic on the weekend, so keep up the good work. Uh, Stan Williams Park this Saturday evening, four grades against an old-time rival in suburbs. Hopefully we can see as many of our supporters families and most importantly uh, the Old Boys Association getting along as well to that game full of cheer and, and voice on the hill. Uh, until next week, go the fish. Hey!